Well, on behalf of the First Family, it is, uh, it is a great, great privilege uh, for Karen and I to welcome you to the White House for what I know will be a very special evening tonight. And uh, as the President of the Senate, uh, it's particularly meaningful for me to welcome uh, Republican and Democrat members of the Senate to this very special evening. I want to give uh, special appreciation to Leader McConnell and Leader Schumer. Thank you so much for both being here tonight. Thank you for your service to the nation. And also the uh, President Pro Tem of the Senate, Orrin Hatch, I think the longest serving member of the United States Senate is with us. And lastly, a rousing round of applause for the spouses that are with us tonight that make the sacrifices so that the members who are here can serve. I know the first family is particularly moved that so many family members uh, could be here this evening. And uh, uh, so I thank you all for making time to be with us. Uh, this will be an inspiring night, and hopefully it will be uh, an encouraging night. Uh, I know the President and the First Lady and Karen and I uh, are well familiar with the sacrifices of public life. And uh, tonight is just, uh, from the First Family to each one of you, a small token of their appreciation uh, for your service uh, to your state and your service to the people of the United States of America. So with that said, it is my high honor and distinct privilege to introduce our host and hostess for this evening, the President of the United States of America and Mrs. Melania Trump. Thank you, Mike. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Nobody ever told me that politics was going to be so much fun. <laughs> but we're doing well. It's doing very well. We just had a call, a long call, from General Mattis. And John, I know, is very happy to hear that, but he knows better than anybody. We're doing very well in Iraq. Our soldiers are fighting and fighting like never before. And the results are very, very good. So I just wanted to let everyone know. Uh, I have some very special friends of, in this room, especially, I must tell you, we have the Republicans, but I even have a couple of Democrats. I said, you know, we had a dinner here about three weeks ago, and it was so beautiful. We have these incredible musicians from the Marine Corps and from the Army, incredible, actually. And I said, you know, I'd like to do something special. I'd like to ask the United States Senate with spouses to come and hear how good it was. It was just a beautiful evening. And so here we are, and shockingly, it's semi-bipartisan. A lot of people showed up that people weren't expecting, which is a very good thing, which is a very, very good thing. And I know that we're all going to make a deal on health care. That's such an easy one. So I have no doubt that that's going to happen very quickly. I think it will, actually. I think it's going to happen, because we've all been promising, Democrat, Republican, we've all been promising that to the American people. So I think a lot of good things are going to happen there. We'll talk about infrastructure. We're going to talk about fixing up our military, which we really need. There has been a depletion, and we're going to make it so good and so strong. And there's, I think, never been a time where we needed it so much. And we're going to be doing a great job. And hopefully, it'll start being bipartisan, because everybody really wants the same thing. We want greatness for this country that we love. So I think we're going to have some very good relationships. Right, Chuck? I see Chuck. Hello, Chuck. <laughs> uh, and I really think that will happen. So, again, enjoy these incredible musicians. They are really something special. And I hope we're going to do this many, many times together as a unit. Thank you all for being here. Melania, thank you very much. Our Vice President, did we make the right decision with Pence, right? <laughs> huh? And Karen, thank you very much. So nice. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Have a good time.